and welcome back. We've missed you all so much. Here we are for another another episode of Comedy and D. We've got our players. We've got they've got their ring lights and hopefully their dice. Character <laughs> sheets are mostly filled out. Uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Kevin O'Shea, the Dungeon Master of the Evening, uh, with us tonight, uh, playing everybody's favorite sword swiller. Uh, let's hear it for Casey. Oh, I wasn't actually sure who that was going to be. <laughs> yes, I'm playing Arcturian, <laughs> Paladin, Sorcerer. I just have one question for you. How many Divine Smites did I use? Was it five? Was it six? Do you feel lucky? But actually, I only have one level of Paladin, so I can't smite yet. But eventually, that will be the question. It's coming. Let's source it into the stars, Arcturian. And everyone's favorite rock-obsessed artificer, played by Cassie. I wasn't sure if you are talking to Casey or Simon. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm Cassie. I play Mr. Curlington. I love rocks. I am an artificer. And he made an alchemy jug during his long rest and some cool Ooh. stuff for Battle of the Bands. Very cool. Yeah, ready and, to rock uh, out. That's all of our players, so let's get into this. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting uh, somebody. Um, you know, well, I mean, there's Goron and Izzy. They're NPCs, though. They don't really count. Um, they count. They let's totally hear count. It for everybody's favorite goblin troublemaker played by simon hello everyone my name is simon timoney and black lives matter i will be uh contrastingly playing officer tom hansen today he is a little goblin bard who swings swords around and after last week injuring himself during urination now has a fear of peeing okay this week's episode we're all gonna take officer tom to the doctor i guess um <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold his hands through some kidney stones. Um, Will you hold no, my hands? Last while week, I pee? last week, uh, after finding yourself in the underdark, you rode a very casual elevator to a, the, a drow town called Grolf. It seemed to be caught in some unknown conflict. You came into the town, you explored its libraries, you went to the bar, and you started a fight with the bar band. That was known as Drow Wow Wow. You uh, you beat them, you bested them in a song off, best two out of three. And landed yourself as a gig playing the next night at the bar, The Spider's Web. Uh, I wasn't sure if Kevin was done talking. I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, I think I'm waking up right now. Oh, is it morning? I'm playing the morning music. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's nighttime. Yeah, oh. you guys took a long rest. Okay, and, and it's morning. Oh, great. Oh. Oh. And uh, you're in the drive town. I uh, put my cool piano thing I made into the bag of holding for the day, along with my alchemy jug and my painter supplies. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Wow. There's a lot in that bag. <laughs> Plus more. Did you make the bag also? I can't remember. I did. Wow. <laughs> so I can't make any more stuff unless I get rid of one alchemy jug or the bag, but we're gonna keep both for now. I heard mayonnaise is really good, so. Yeah, I'm not used to anybody <laughs> thanking me. Like, what's your motive? Uh, what's up with that? You sound weird. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Maybe you should play him a little bit in your on your piano. Yeah, I take my piano back out. Yeah, we need to practice. Okay, that make back. a performance check, uh, Mr. Curlington. Yeah, I think we should practice for the show. Uh, it's minus two, I forgot. Uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like yeah, some Tom. guidance? <laughs> Wait, 15 minus this two Discordian, oh. <laughs> Discordian melody, uh, completely off key, uh, hurts your ear and keeps you, keeps you awake. It just jolts you into awakeness. 
I think I need to fix this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it sound better. <laughs> oh, I like it. It actually jives with my uh, goblin physiology. Something about those discordant notes. The devil's chord really getting me going. Do you guys think we should practice before we go battle those drow? I mean, I think we just did. You want to put on a cool outfit? They have on some cool leather jackets. We oh. should have some cool outfits. Yeah. What do you think? Can I have you... this paint. <laughs> body paint? You're thinking body paint? Do we do body paint? I want to paint my white stomach with a multitude of colors and make it tie-dye. We could pull that off. So uh, I start painting my white belly uh, colorful, like the ice cream in my background, um, tie-dye. Like this. I think this needs some water. I dip it in some ice cream though, that way it sticks longer. Okay. Ooh. Do you guys want some? Talk about a rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before uh, we take the stage, I'm gonna cast Disguise Self. So I'm gonna work on my, my, my cool outfit, big hair, tights. I don't know, what does rock and roll wear? Um, okay, bell bottoms. so the performance, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the performance won't be till the evening. So you do have a you have a whole day to prepare, and uh, you know if you cast a one hour spell now, it will not. not doing it now. Yeah, I keep my belly colorful. Yeah, yeah that'll last. Yeah, that's there. That'll last. Yeah. Anybody uh, else want some? Let me know. So we're basically just trying to get out of here, right? And we got distracted by the <laughs> chance to be a rock stars. Well, I think that we're looking out for the uh, our ultimate uh, goal right here is, uh, as they call it, is external motivation. See, I'm, I'm taking writing classes. You are okay. taking writing classes. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we're looking for the Raven Queen, no? Mm, I don't, I don't think it? she lives here in the Underdark. I think she's in the Shadowfell. Uh, sorry, they, they look the same in the brochure. The places look the same. Controversial. The places. The, not the people, persons in the place. The, I'll be over here. It looks, All lives matter, Tom. You're saying that <laughs> these underground tunnels look the same as that shadowy realm of magic? Yeah, I'm short. Um, I just rolled a nat 20 on performance, so that's going to be a 26 performance just to just to warm up the old. And I'm glad I blew it now. Uh, instead yeah, you of run your, through your scales. Uh, sounds good. Mm -hmm. And on my whistle, my one note whistle. Yeah. So my scale... Yeah, you're, it's just one note over yep. and over again. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. Wow, Tom. <laughs> Those are all just do. You're not monotone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it literally is monotone. I know. <laughs> wow. Mr. Carlington learned sarcasm. Arturian, <laughs> Arturian, are you gonna have any uh, tricks up your sleeve to? Zazzle us? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I'm not much in the musical, but, uh, you know, I remember what I did last time was I took these balls, I took my balls out, yeah. and I started juggling them, and I bounced them off the walls rhythmically, so, you know, I'm kind of keeping the beat. I'm the rhythm section. Cool. Oh, like vocals again. <laughs> hey, Arctur, can you make my, uh, my stomach first smell like sherbet? Yes, I can. Thanks. Boop. Okay, so now my belly is colorful and smells like sherbet. Yeah, although I guess dumb. technically it's the paint that smells like sherbet because I can only reflavor non-living things. I smell my belly, guys. Okay, all Best. right. Best. What do we want to do in town today? Uh, yeah, so the only thing on my list is like, we should maybe figure out where we are in the world and how we can get back to our apartment before rent is due. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh! If they chuck our stuff, if they chuck my stuff out on the curb because we didn't pay rent, I'm gonna be so mad. I think it's a mortgage because I think you bought that TV. Oh, that's better, but right? So we they we just have like the three house. months. Yeah. <laughs> As a cop, could I abuse my power and maybe have us not? I know this isn't the right time to be talking like that, but maybe we don't get evicted. Um, I mean. I'm gonna give it my Not phone. really, because you're kind of on the outs with your police boss. <sighs> Even after that really sweet text last week? Yeah, I'm on the outs with most yeah. people most of the time. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so I don't mean, I guess we could ask at the library, like, where are we? What's the fastest way out after we mm -hmm. 
win or lose this performance? No, wait, we already no. won. We, already we found won. some fiction books there about the Doomsgate Cove and the supernatural. We found Sir Thomas's Guide to the Underdark. Oh, yeah. And the warmest earth melting things on planet book. <laughs> Okay. Maybe the guide to the Underdark might. Oh yeah. So do you have that? Can we read it? I gave it to you. I think here. Oh. I got some ice cream on it, but it smells really good because of you. So here. I I I can read. <laughs> um, is there a map in this book? Yeah, okay. there is a map. Oh, cool. Oh, is is Grouth <laughs> on the map? <laughs> Grouth's in the Pokédex. Um. Why don't you make uh, an investigation? I've never been very good at the Where's Waldo. Oh, all I can help. Uh, I got a oh, ten. I guess, <laughs> I guess I could. I? I could pray for guidance while right. I'm looking for it, and make it an eleven. And I got fifteen. <laughs> now look, I think we're right around here, Mr. Crillington. See oh. right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, because uh... it, it says you are here. <laughs> that might be I the name of a right. town. Is this one of those um, maps? Yeah, so you, you find Grouth. You, um, you're able to locate Grouth. Mr. Curlington, you rolled a 15. Yes. Um, so, Mr. Curlington, you see, you, through the map, you see that, um, that Grouth is relatively close to an above ground city called Aquanta. Aquanta, what? That sounds like there's a ton of water. Yeah, it sounds watery. Very watery. Squishy and splashy, and my type of place. Yeah, Officer Tom, um, I mean, and uh, Arturian would be familiar with it. It is the largest city on. Um, your guys' home continent. Whoa. Oh. <clears throat> we should take our show there if it goes well. Ooh, they say if you can make it in a quanta, you can make it anywhere. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> uh, we got our first uh, request of the night in chat. Free Bird? Free Bird. I've never heard of this song. I'm already Is it free. a band? <laughs> well, I mean, I think all birds should be free. I agree. Thank you, Blue Hue. And, All uh, birds should be chat, free. And you haven't read I Know Why the Cage Birds Sing. You know, this is a good time to read it. We're not in cages. Yeah, I know why the cage bird sings, because they had a battle of the bands that night. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I wonder if that bird's for hire. What else is there to do in the town? So we went to the library. Did we go to the um, UIUS already? No. The Underdark School. Well, yeah, you school. went to their library. Oh, that was the library in the school. Because I yeah. wrote Satellite Library as well. Is that something else? <laughs> I think that was their library. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe... Uh, oh. No, I was yeah. going to say, like, is, is there an obvious way to get to a Quanta from here if we wanted to go? Like, is that is that part of the map? Um... There, from the map, it would be difficult. Okay. It's not like an easy trick. It's not like back up the elevator, take a left yeah, instead not, of a right. Yeah. To ask that. Yeah, hit two buttons on the elevator and you're there. That's not the case. Gotcha. Okay. No elevator. Um, maybe somebody at Mrs. Spider Web might know about it. Yeah, maybe there's a, a like a traveling caravan that needs some guards. That's kind of my go-to move. Or uh, jugglers. It's kind of cliche. I, I find that if you say you're a juggler, you have to pay. But if you say you're a guard, they pay you. So we could go either way. That's marketing. Yeah, marketing. <laughs> you're going to show up there at this penguin with a rainbow belly? <laughs> I'm a guard. <laughs> 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 Look, caravans tend to have a surplus of jugglers and a lack of guards. Yeah, it's just simple supply and demand. Yeah. You can be a juggler too, Tom. <laughs> a peeing juggler. <laughs> or patting your head. Rubbing your belly. Let me see if it works for me. <gasps> <laughs> 
Oh, wow. That's cool. What are we doing? Is we're this dance? Oh, we're are we working on the dance? <laughs> well, is that cool? That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to the bar to see if anybody is heading to the surface anytime soon. Okay, so you guys are staying in the above the bar. You guys uh, climb down. And, uh, you know, of course, Goron's at the bar having a drink. Getting started uh, early, Goron. Yeah, it's early. It's pretty empty. Hair of the bear. So everybody just heard you say that. Oh, uh, before you walk in, um, I... I take this thing out of my satchel. Hey, you guys, I forgot when I was about to sleep, I made this cool experimental elixir that makes you fly for 10 minutes. Who wants it? I do. You can uh, fly yeah, for 10 minutes. That pretty awesome. Now you're a bird. Do you want it? Oh, I like to swim. <laughs> I want it because I have to pee. No, my Ew. claw. I have to return back to my... Instead of Character pooping, team. he's gonna pee. Okay. okay, I probably shouldn't take it. I'll... Well, I think it'll be good for our performance, so maybe. Well, the drummer can't fly because Spinal Seven. Tap tried that. The bard, take it. Just take. That's take for it. a motley crew with the spinning thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there wow. you go. So I drink this and I can fly. For 10 And minutes. I drink this and it'll probably make me have to pee. Yeah, you'll pee and fly. Yeah. Two birds. <laughs> All yeah. right, I have. Uh, and just yes. when you're when you're peeing in the air, look for someone who has just washed their wagon, right? That's always <laughs> how it works. They you wash, wash their wagon and then you pee on it. Kind That's a good fancy. disguise too, a wagon washer. Like, hey, can we wash your wagon? <laughs> yeah, you just run up and start washing, right? And yeah, have you have to, to ask. You. They just have to. So we can use that too if we need it. <laughs> this is going to go good for our, our performance. It'll be like the Vampire Lestat, the book, not the movie. Thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm going deep and rise tonight. Good cast, Sorry, though. Man. Yeah. The second movie, not the Brad Pitt. Oh, the oh yeah. That was, that was the, Aaliyah was, was like the best part. Sequel. Mm. R.I.P. Okay, so you guys sat down in the bar. Did you just uh, R.I.P. that franchise? Because <laughs> that movie was so bad. Uh, Goron's at the bar having a drink. You know, he hears Arturian comment and he goes like, ah, cheers. It's never too early. Cheers. Hey, Goron. I say hi. He goes, he hi, Mr. Say. Curlington. <laughs> Big bear paws. Hey. By the way, at some point, should we start using your first name or are you just like Mr. Curlington? That's my name. Oh, Mr. is your first name? Yeah. Oh, I've been... <laughs> Do you, do you spell it MR period? Because that's how yep. I've been spelling it on letters and stuff. That's how you spell it. It's okay. actually MR Little Stone. Yeah, Little uh, Stone. <laughs> you got it. MR Little Stone. Curlington. Who has Arturian been writing letters to? Uh, Mr. Curlington. You know, I like to write letters to my friends, but then I, I just bury them and maybe someday they'll find them. You bury your friends? Yeah. I need to get locate objects. Is this like when you send? <laughs> like, is this like when you put the wrong email in? You think you're sending it to someone you know, and it goes. Oh, uh, uh, there's a. Whoa, there's another Mr. Krillington. <laughs> we have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Ron. Um, listen, buddy, we're gonna be. We're gonna be doing our performance uh, later, and I want to know if I can count on you, you, to. Um, amp up the crowd you know cheerlead a little bit because if this goes well uh then we get to leave sooner with without being chased by pitchforks and fire he but like point. they'd be chasing you guys because i'm not in the band yeah but you can help us not that not happen you won't have to save us with all your healing spells yeah you know i feel <laughs> busy every time i i never have to do that i I choose to do that. He's just a good person. Or bear. He's a bear -son. He knows all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think in 500 years, that's going to take on a little different meaning. Uh, in other news, we have a request for a song in chat called Melancholy Baby. I think we should sing that. I think it's about a sad baby. Is that good, guys? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a... Sounds like a real crowd pleaser. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> you guys can sing that. Okay, so we yeah, got not sit down. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> we we've got Goron as our hype man. That's good. Uh huh. I just uh, keep thinking like pretty fly for a white guy. And, like they have the little voice in the chorus. They'll be like. Melancholy, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Melancholy, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Go, Ron. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I put some hydrogen peroxide on your hair? Give you a little some highlights. I was about to ask if you want some paint, like mine. Uh, you know, stick out no, my belly. And no. Oh, but okay. uh, since since you asked and you've helped me out, uh, I will. I will introduce you guys before you go on. Oh, perfect. Oh, sweet, you rock. Yeah, you, you do have that like announcer voice. It's that will work well, I think. Um, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, what I can do is I can minor illusion a curtain uh, that that before showtime it open. It's only a five square foot cube, so it'll be a five foot curtain. But if we all just kind of crouch behind it, you know, just to add add to the, uh, you know, all if you do it as a cube, you could get you know you can get twenty feet of curtain. Ooh. Uh, is that how that works? Cool. I and I can paint a cool works, mural but, on it. But the DM said it, so it's right. okay. Can I do the same with I my? I mean, it's a five. You, you can only fit oh, five I feet see. worth of stuff in it, but it actually be like it a shower curtain. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The hand movement really sells it, doesn't it? That'd be cool. <laughs> um, great. So we have my one-handed uh, cabbage patch. We have a hype man. <laughs> uh, we just need a dancer. Is Izzy around? She's so strong. She can dance um, all night. Izzy is still upstairs. She's doing her makeup. Oh. <laughs> well, when are you? When are you, when are you guys should go talk to her? I, I message her on her sending stone. Hey, Izzy, you want some paint? <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, I take a picture of my belly, the rainbow. Whoa! And you can get this done if you want. Unsolicited belly pics. <laughs> Gross. Um, Consent is important. Like a minute passes by, and you get a you get a message back on your stone, and says, um, "I'm training right now, but uh, thank you." Is that hey, why she she's, she's training? Is that why she's so strong? Because she actually like works hard and trains. Oh, it's because she's insecure. I've seen her do this pull up thing, and she can lift her head right above the bar. It was so yeah. crazy. I can't do that. You know how she does that? She thinks about her childhood, <laughs> and trying to escape it, and it pulls her up. That's her uh, internal conflict. I'll stop now. Um, okay. This is Tom. He's now a psychologist. <laughs> a one level, okay. level one psychologist. I'm multi-classed. <laughs> multi Sells better. Sells better, right? Uh, bonus action guilt trip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we need a dancer, huh? We need a dancer. Well, oh. You know what? I'll ask Izzy. She's pretty pathetic. She'll do pretty much anything I say. I don't know, Tom. After Bef you went poo. Yeah, before she saw me poo. poo. Um, maybe if I minor illusion to going back in, that would just sort of change her perception. It's so disgusting. That's deeply disturbing. Yeah, thanks I've a lot. I've never seen Kevin make that face before. That was so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. I'm really going to sell how you feel. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll try it. So gross. But I want to do it in front of everybody. Why are like, fine? I don't want to knock on the door and she's <laughs> alone, and then I do the trick and it's weird. I'll do it when everyone's here. Okay. Um, okay. you guys have any ideas what I should fill our alchemy jug up with? Mr. Curlington was thinking mayo because he's heard about it and has been wanting him to try it because it's kind of like ice cream, but not. So what's the idea? You can choose anything and the jug will be full of it. Uh, pretty much. Or is it like um, you have to get it and then you can put a lot of it into the jug? Uh, it says ceramic jug appears to hold a gallon of liquid and blah, 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 blah. You can use an action to name one liquid. Wow. So we can do acid, which I don't want. I don't want basic poison. Nothing useful. We can do beer, honey, mayo, oil, vinegar. Ooh, salt water. What? <laughs> what would we explain Why? on the crowd? Mayo. So it's really tough. Okay. Salt water. We get yeah, one, the we salt got, water. And we get one gallon, is it? Uh, well, if for mayo, we get two gallons. Oh. For salt water, I get 12. So I could just stand in it. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you know, I could 
see us pouring that on the audience as like a big finale. Like some some people do champagne. I think we could just like pour mayo. That's what I was thinking. On the audience, I could pour some them. paint in it and make it color. Wait, I, I thought that champagne idea was pretty good too. Yeah, no, you don't no, want to do that that's with beer. Yeah, you don't want to waste alcohol. Cat, beer, mayo, honey, <laughs> salt, you know, water. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, or uh, I saw the band Guar a couple times. They pour yep. blood on everyone. That's an option. Mon monster blood. Okay, I could put some of this red dye paint into the salt water. <laughs> Can, couldn't you just request like fake blood? That's liquid. Or real That's blood. Disgusting. Ketchup no. is ketchup. Put my paint inside this. It's salt water because I could still drink it. And then cool. you can make it taste or smell like ketchup or something. It still might be bad to eat paint, even if it smells like ketchup. <laughs> he just... doesn't know that. He's like, yeah, he's okay. Like he's smart. Uh, blood it is. is blood? Is that? Yeah, I guess it's going to be that kind of show. <laughs> okay. Sweet. All right. I, I... Or we could glitter bomb the audience. Is glitter considered a liquid? How much, how much water do you need to put in glitter before it's a liquid? You know, we have 12 gallons. That's just watery glitter. 12 mm -hmm. gallons. And I can, I'm sure I could figure out how to make glitter with my rocks. Maybe I could shave it. We got this. Okay. Kevin, can you, you can make hand sanitizer? <laughs> That's that valuable. Way more now. Very valuable. <laughs> That's really valuable. Um, Kevin, can you remind me, is this one of those towns where magic is sort of like forbidden or frowned upon or there are some restraints on it uh you haven't heard anything like that all right it was a dream but i will tell you that most drow can do this and i cast dancing lights wow Whoa. so people that that part's not going to be very impressive here <laughs> i think it's pretty cool wow i think it's cool you do that during the show. i don't even yeah. hear music and i'm dancing we should go to like a, a drow rave there's a lot of lights okay sick <laughs> after party <laughs> all right well guys i'm ready okay so I think it's uh, still like daytime <laughs> yes, let's get, we have like <laughs> eight to ten hours i think what are yeah. we gonna do for <laughs> we got our show planned okay uh all right let's go make some props and some sets yeah do we see those guys around the three we're gonna be battling the, the you, battle, you battled in one so like you guys got the job yeah we're just we don't see them in the bar though or anything. I just yeah, wanted to draw, say wow, wow, wow. They're nowhere to be seen. Okay. Wait, this is a battle of the dance <laughs> No, we already or... won that. We already, we already won, won that. Putting on a this is the second. Jeez. This is a new battle. Two we beat weeks the other off. One. Yeah. I wanted to go say something to them before the big battle begins tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> There's no. It's just you guys playing. You won the right to play and like make money for the night. Boy, I really hope oh, we win. Right. I hope we win this battle tonight, though. Yeah, I still want to win it. Yeah, you should still go into it. Well, you guys are going to lose that, but that's after you play. Sure. <laughs> totally used to it. <clears throat> um, okay, so I think the only thing that we've talked about doing is trying to find a caravan. Is the bar the right place to do that? Can we ask the bartender, Ballantine, or the day uh, shift? Val yeah, so Ballantine's there uh, pouring drinks, mostly to Goron. A couple more people have come in. Uh, Ballantine, um, do, uh, is this the place people hang out But if they're, like, trading with the surface? Like, if you wanted to get a job on a caravan, is this, is this the place? Is there a market? Something like that? Ballantine pauses and goes, you know, we, we see them more at night. They're usually setting up deals or, you know, coming in and leaving around this time. Um. Uh, You probably find them over the the university. Really? At the at the work experience office. Oh, uh, work ex. Okay. I guess. Work. I guess we could check that out. I have work experience. Casey, okay. were you just drinking out of a copper mug? No. Why do you ask? Like a, it looks like. Oh God! It's a copper mug. It's silver. Oh, actually. I don't think it's copper or silver. It's nickel. Uh, al aluminum? <laughs> al oh, al al aluminum? Nickelback. <laughs> I was waiting for it. The most hazardous element. The work experience office. 
Um, this is good. I kind of wanted to check out the uh, university. Yeah, we know why you want to go to the university, Tom. <laughs> okay. Because they have a bidet. But also, uh, I just wanted to see if they anyone had a really nice like drug habit. You know, something I could frame. I mean, not frame. You know, after school special them on. Yeah, I think we know. Maybe you can trade our Valerian root. I used after school special as a verb. <laughs> Is Officer Tom problematic? Sound <laughs> off in the comments. Oh, hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh, so we're going to use this university. Yeah, let's go pop in real quick. Check that out. Oh, and we can, we can hand out our flyers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, on our way out, I yell, everybody, check out our show tonight. Even though that's just like Goron and probably like three other people. Actually, Kevin, sorry. Do you think? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm done. I was just going like, to check out our wild show. <laughs> okay, to do that, you guys are going to have to make yeah. flyers. Yep. So do you want to go back up to your room and make flyers? <clears throat> no, well, I actually only want to make one flyer. I have paint. But hmm. Arcturian, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was saying I can make a flyer that lasts until the end of my next turn in my hand. Would that help? And I can paint stuff all over town. <laughs> and you can just press to digitate it later. It's fine. I just think if you you give somebody a flyer that they can't touch and then disappears in six seconds, I don't think it'll be a very. I mean, it's yeah. it's your choice to make. I'm not trying to say not to do yeah, that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Guys, I have a better idea. I'm just gonna start making it. I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna take a large parchment, <laughs> and I'm gonna start writing on it. And I'm going to cast illusory script, Illus illusory script. And what it's going to say is. Um, it's going to say, on the outside, it's going to say, um, <clears throat> awesome study group tonight. All the kids should show up for the study group in the secret study group place. And that's only visible to people over the age of, let's see, what's college? Okay, over the age of 24. But what anyone under 24 <laughs> is going to be able to read is it's going to say, free beer porn pizza uh, at this show. Um, tonight at the uh, Spider's Web. No, yeah, the Mrs. Spider's Web. <clears throat> Free beer porn pizza. Banned. That's how you know he's not actually in his 20s because he doesn't know it's cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, did you tell this plan? <laughs> did you tell that to us or is that all in your head? Um, I just kind of just go over the outline. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to write this. It's going to say, you know, it's going to get kids out to the show. So just... Just believe me on that. And I'm going to burn that Can't, spell slot. Maybe I'll um, entice okay, the Okay, I don't Mount think Mr. Krillington baby. can read it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I see the other message. <laughs> can Arcturian read it? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Only Tom can read this. Okay. Well, is it, it like, even funnier. is it racially adjusted age? No. No. So like... Like an old <laughs> goblin could read it, but like you have to be like a baby as an elf. I mean, I think an old goblin wrote it. That's true. I'll never be able to read it. <laughs> like, you never no, know. Tom is, Tom is 20. Goblin? In Goblin. I don't know how this works. I don't know. How old was Johnny Depp in 21 Jump Street? 50? Playing an 18 year old? Yeah, he, he, he was 50. In the That's 80s. acting. He was born in. He's born in 1930. That's, That's right. why he's in those uh, Fantastic Beast movies. That's before uh, his finger got cut off. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yes, I heard once you turn 50, you lose your finger. So, <clears throat> you think I can't read that and I'll never... So, uh, Tom, I don't know about these posters. They uh, they don't seem like they're going to bring people in, but... Uh... Oh, and now I'll explain it. Oh, what it says to anyone who's over the age of 24 is it says, um, awesome study group tonight. That's why it's going to be really quiet around here in the study group secret wood place. But anyone under 24, and I just say, and I just kind of minor illusion it, what it says. So I cool, see, huh? I see cool. that. Yeah, yeah. Cool, huh, guys? Okay, right. so you, you have like one of these posters, basically? Just one. I just have one. Yeah, I can, oh, but it's. You know, it's take you 10 minutes per poster, basically. You know, I'm just going to put one in the, is there like a, a, a tack board at the school? An informational uh, information board? 
Okay, was well, anybody going to prepare anything else before you head over to the school? Uh, I'm going to paint some signs on our way to the school, like on the walls and stuff. They like, come to our show. Uh, so roll, roll paint check. Tastefully, of course, oh. not just like... Guidance oh! for taste. Dirty 20 plus... Uh, 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 yeah, it's tastefully. 22. Okay, so you're able to make a dozen very tasteful, nice flyers for uh, this evening's performance by the Lone Thief. Nice. And I kind of make them tie-dye to match my belly so they see the theme going on. Yeah. They will once they show up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the school, guys. I'm done. Cool. <laughs> Uh, okay. 42 minutes, and Chad is already making fun of my facial hair. No, it is not a smudge on my face. <laughs> you guys, he's only 20 in Goblin guys, years. What do you expect? Fun, <laughs> don't make fun of Simon's facial hair. That's our job. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. He glued those coffee grounds on his face right before <laughs> we started. And he and borrowed eyeliner from my somebody and drew some hairs. Coffee grounds on my face and... <laughs> Yeah. I think, and, yeah. And your pencil. <clears throat> yeah. Carpet matches the drapes on his toes. <laughs> <laughs> All the way down to your toes, man. <laughs> Somebody needs this to end so you can go to a barber. <laughs> I guess that'd be an esthetician. You just wax it off. We are at the school. Yeah, so you guys head to the school. <laughs> um, there is indeed a large, busy quad. Uh, there is, and there is a cork board. Is that a hint? Large, yeah, yeah large cork board. Uh, what's on center. it? Can I read every single uh, flyer carefully? <laughs> yes, very carefully. Make me an investigation check. I'll help just in case. <laughs> uh, 16. 18. 16. Um, Mr. Killington, do you do you read under common? Nope. Oh, no, no. no. I do, no, I do. So it, it's all lost on you, but Arcturian, uh, you see. <laughs> but you did successfully one up my investigation, as always. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. That was your goal, right? It was just the hell. Oh, you know, just ever since you stole time, that money and lied about it. To every us. time I'm like, hang on, <laughs> let me figure this out. Mr. Curlton's like, eh, it's right there. Uh, it's right. Th you missed it. That's how I saw him steal that money and hide it. He lied about it. So I put it in the mattress. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so you, you see messages put up looking for roommates, looking for for study groups, uh, looking for to sell old textbooks. Can I see if any of the uh, people asking for roommates are tall women? Uh, say that do there. Do you read under common? Say that there. Uh, that's a 10 investigation. Do you read under common? No. No, no. no so you... you but okay. tall handwriting has a certain, you know, swagger. Yeah, at a ten investigation, you you kind of picture like what the swagger would be like in your head, <clears throat> but you look and you're confused. And you're not really able to project that into reality. With my paint supplies, I make a note that says I like short women, and then I mage hand it on the Tom's back. What? Hopefully, like, I make sure I try to make him not feel me do it. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let's roll Arcana versus Perception. Am I the Arcana? You are my the perception. Arcana. My I perception is Cool. All right. Uh, okay. I, yeah, actually, I rolled 20 Perception, so I saw it. Arturia, what? <laughs> Let me roll. I'm just kidding. What do the signs say? You know, it's a bunch of college stuff. There's some. They want some roommates, some study groups, some drugs, the usual. Oh, drugs. Oh well, I mean, I assume that's that's code. Study groups is code for drugs, right? Oh no. Oh, I, I haven't put, studied I my at sign school up. in years. I don't know. All right. <laughs> All right, you start putting the sign up, mm -hmm. and you see a youngish drow go. Hey, excuse me. What's that flyer? Read it yourself, sir. How old does he look? Uh, you look, it is, it is a woman. How old does she look? And it's a, a is young she drow, so is she's she about, about 40. Oh yeah, she's definitely taller than you. Ah. 
She's probably about about five six, five eight, like an you know, <laughs> average drow height. She's a giant. Oh so, my yeah, god. She's got what a good a good two and a half feet on you. Absolutely, that's right. Wow. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name. My name is Tom. H. And I look at a uh, uh, Mr. Curlington Arcturian and I wink. Say my name is Tom H. Um, I don't know what you're I was just uh, <laughs> putting up a sign for what What do you think that says? Because my, you look younger than I think you are. Um, is that flirting? Is this how he won me over everybody? I don't think so. It depends <laughs> how old they are. <laughs> Tom Huh. Uh, yeah. She was, Tom Huh, are, are you a student here? Um, you know, my uh, parents want me to, you know, uh, delve into the intellectual endeavors. And uh, I was just uh, looking at the school as a, a place to try that out, learning. So that's, that's a you don't go here. Uh, continuing education. It's a uh, right. school of right. life, hard knocks, Actually, life. No, that's right. Um, uh, this is okay, Arturian. Okay, Arturian, make a deception check. <clears throat> Am I rolling something too? No. Do you want to? Oh, oh man, the one time I'm mad. And actually, I've, <laughs> um, the student here maybe, but preferably a teacher. Twenty-five. Okay, so she <laughs> kind of believes that you're continuing your education, um, but now she, I'm mm. sorry. Did you say you teach here? Well, no, I'm I'm probably going to. I mean, that's <laughs> we assume. Yeah, if I'm not going to be a student, I might as well be a teacher. I I don't really follow the logic of that, but yeah, I get maybe that a lot. You should wait till you become a teacher to to post up flyers. It's for oh. students only, so I mean, really. Oh well, I was pretty just much be against the rules for a teacher to post on this anyway. Oh well, I mean, it's 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 for educational purposes. It 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 obviously says that there's a a big study group tonight. So if you don't want this up and you don't want your kids to find a place to <clears throat> study on their off hours on their own, you don't have kids. Hard, How old do you think I am? Well, I don't mean your personal kids, but I mean the people going to this university. Then, but if you don't want that, you know that's fine. And I start to act like I'm taking it down and, and I wait uh, she she hesitates so waiting for you to take it down I'm and waiting I yeah you can take it down well I mean oh uh, you really? know you seem to know the school uh, we're actually also looking for the uh, the uh, office of um, work study <laughs> oh yeah it, it's up there on the, the tower just do south the tower is called Just Do South. No, well, you just oh, just do south of us. Oh, it's a <laughs> Tower Five. Oh, Tower uh, Five, third floor. Cool. Uh, what do you study here? I mean, you must be like a freshman, right? You haven't figured it out, or? Well, it's my last year here. No, you uh, look so young. Yeah, at UI US, and uh, <laughs> I have been studying. Abjuration. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I know an abjuration spell, but I'm not very good at it. Uh, you know, it, I really, it needs some work. Well, you know, you keep working, keep trying, and you'll get better. Hmm. Hey, are you doing anything tonight? Yeah, I'm studying for the big our duration finale. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the big abjuration finale. I heard that everyone was really upset when it was going off the air. Um, but anyway, I hear there's going to be this really cool band at uh, the spider web Mrs. tonight. Mrs. Spider's Web. Um, <laughs> you know, I could get you on the guest list if uh, after you're done studying, maybe you want to come check it out. Hey, Tom, I think she likes Arturian, not you. I uh, make a <laughs> persuasion check with advantage. Okay. <clears throat> Tom's been, uh, ooh, 
Tom's been really grooming his mustache game, unlike the person who plays him is on. Uh, that persuasion is going to be at 22. Well, she says, kinda okay, hard. if I'm done studying in time, uh, I'll, I'll try and check it out. Okay. I go up to her and I say, Arcturian's going to be in it. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of the street team, you know, so we could probably get you, like, uh, you know, backstage if you wanted to. Just, uh, you know, just look for us. You like Zazla, you said. And then she goes, you're, you're Arcturian? Uh, yeah, what's your name? Belinda. Oh. The traditional drow name, I see. Yeah. Your parents <laughs> must be very conservative. Yeah, most drow parents are. And, uh, she... Yeah, so I hear, I hear there's this really hot goblin playing in the band tonight. Arcturian's mom's name is Lillian. <laughs> she has a traditional name too, I think. Huh, Arcturian? I, I nudge him. <laughs> I mean, you, you know she's like my adopted mom, right? Okay, hey, Tom. <laughs> and uh, Belinda's like, that. well, I think I'm... You guys might be in the middle of something, but um, it was very nice to meet you, Arcturian, and um, you, Mr. Penguin, as well. Uh, Mr. Krillington, uh, lady. Mr. Krillington, I'm, yes. I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. I didn't introduce myself. I thought it was rude. Nice to meet you, Belinda. Thanks for saying sorry. See, if you two would say sorry, it wouldn't be so big of a deal. But no, you too much. Sorry. He goes off on one of his... Ra Thanks, Arcturian. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this, this, this goblin who's fronting the band tonight, he's got a, a he's really great stage presence and he's very charismatic and he has to wear oversized shorts for a reason. <laughs> yeah, and she's gone and an officer told us. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so, but we got the poster up, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, the poster's up. Wait, can anybody read my poster since everybody speaks under common here? <laughs> what language just... did you write your poster in? common <laughs> yeah the people can understand okay i had to make sure i was like hold on okay <laughs> uh okay so tower five work experience tower five. study tower five just do south i still don't have a compass but we'll figure it out <laughs> you know y'all are terrible wingmen you said you were in love with Zazla. I never said that and meant it. Were you, were you right, interested let's... in her? You were behaving like you didn't want to hang out with her. <laughs> I think that's what women like. I think, uh, I don't know. I read that in a book somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I Probably. heard they make fun of you. <laughs> well, maybe that's goblin women. I mean, drow women, you got to understand. Uh, drow women, they're in charge. You know, it's a, uh -huh. it's a ma matriarchy, ma matriarchy. Mm. Like those dolls? Macharky. Yeah, Macharky dolls. You know what I'm talking oh, okay. about. I'm totally fine with that. And uh, sometimes they feed you to the spiders, you know, afterwards. So uh, I'm just, you know, you, you want to be sure that that you want to get into that. Oh. I'm so glad I'm a penguin. We share the work. Sometimes I watch the egg. Sometimes Mrs. Krillington watches the egg. And it's we not, don't eat spiders. Not a spider. Anymore. And, um... <laughs> Okay. Arcturian, as you you move away, you feel uh, your your step is a little bit lighter, and you seem to move with more ease. And um, did someone pickpocket me of something very heavy? <laughs> <laughs> um, make a, an Arcana check. Fourteen. I didn't help. This um, time. <laughs> yeah. So you. Belinda casts a spell on you. Like the song. It's freedom of movement. Oh, wow. She's a very powerful spellcaster. Wow. He's in charge, right, hey, Arcturian? Hey, Tom, try to try to grab me. I bet you can't grab me. Okay, I couldn't before, but now it, it'll be harder. Can you fly now, too? Let me try. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, no, oh. it's, it's not that freedom. Still graceful. Hmm. Nice. <clears throat> uh, Kevin, are we there yet? <laughs> um, so you guys make your way to the tower. You follow the signs. Tower four. Floor three. 
and you see a large sign, Office of Work Experience. So out of the three of us, who has the most? <laughs> the most. Work experience. Oh. I mean, I, Tom has like a pension coming, right? He's like a cop. Yeah, oh, does, that's right. You yeah, have a real it, job. It doesn't really work like that. No. I'm and just a just... penguin. <laughs> Is that a job? <laughs> Is that what you put down for profession? A penguin, He's a tribe leader. Tribe leader, artificer, <laughs> protector of my wife. Were you elected tribe leader of Snowflake Island, or was it like your dad was the tribe leader? No, after he saved the whole village from the people who took over and captured them to polish the stones, (laughs) they elected him. They elected him, and he said, okay, but then he turned kind of crazy because he was scared his wife was going to get kidnapped again. So he built a wall to keep everybody out and turn into a xenophobe. I, I heard it was a bloody coup. When you took over. <laughs> no, you heard wrong. Yeah, I heard there was know. an election, but all the other candidates died. You don't know that just because you juggled there once. <laughs> Thinks he knows everything. God. Wait, Arturian juggled on Snowflake Island? Um, I think it's, we did establish that I visited in my travels. When we okay. first met, he thought he did. So I, I recall mm-hmm. vaguely. <laughs> You know, I get around. Um, Stop bragging, dude. Mr. Curlington is kind of intimidated by these drow folk. They're like a lot taller than him. He doesn't know what they're saying because their language is different. So he might go in last or middle, not first this time. (laughs) Uh, Okay. I guess I I should go first. I think you were Tom. Might have All right. You walk in. You you see. um... (laughs) Yes. I'm sorry. I just can I use my disguise kit? quickly to make it look like I work like just a little soot on my face kind of rough callousy hands things like that just the attitude of like okay, roll deception oh this is so hard Ooh, uh, my deception is going to be a 24 okay you look disguised little miner's hat <sighs> man work was hard today you guys uh, did you get the black lung or something <laughs> um yeah is Wait, that a magic you, item? You sound terrible. <laughs> this is what workers sound like. Uh-huh. I guess little pomp, pompous, pampered Percy's like you. I didn't say P-U, I said P-R-I-S. Uh, they don't understand a hard day's work, okay? So he's just like a miner. I am a penguin with this rainbow sherbet belly and you're uh-huh. a regular Arcturian drow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just how it was always meant to be. <laughs> Okay, Man, Tom, you can you can go first if you really want. <laughs> no, 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 I get it, I get it. Go ahead. You do all the talking, boss go, man. Go ahead. Tom might as well fly right now at this rate. I'm just like... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so Arcturian walks in. And... You see silver-haired drow in tweed coat standing behind a desk. And he says, hello, how may I help you? Uh, hello, uh, we heard this might be the place to look for, for work experience on a, on a caravan uh, uh, going to the surface. Oh, caravans. Caravans. Much sought off, um, you know. Everyone everyone wants to leave Grouth with the war going on. Uh, yeah. I don't know, you don't, you don't look, you don't look like a merchant. You seem to be a fighter. Have you thought about you have thought about joining the Grouth militia? Um Yes, I just thought about it. Um it's an interesting <laughs> option. Uh yeah, look well all three of us uh minored in caravan uh escorting and um you know, we just want to get some some practical experience for the resume, you know, before the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Three and looks around, um, Tom and Mr. Killington, are you guys still outside or have you come in? Oh, I thought you came I, oh, I walked in, but I kind of hid behind Arcturian because yeah. I'm shorter than oh, him. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the, we have sort of a, a caravan escorting study group. We get together to practice. Good, good, always study. I peek around and I, I'm, I'm Mr. Krillington. Hello, Mr. Krillington. I- Never met a penguin Aarakocca before. He puts out his hands. 
I shake it. This is a little plank, and what's your name? I am Mr. Laszlo. Mr. Laszlo. Nice jacket. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well, uh, Mr. Plank. You you guys have the same first name. That's so oh, cool. Oh, that's my name too, Mr. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. I didn't even realize that. Mr. Laszlo. What type? You're not a penguin. No, uh, well, Mr. is not my first name, but that's, uh, you know, we keep it formal here at oh. UIUS. I thought your I parents just it. gave you a penguin name for some reason. Never know. Not that there would be anything wrong with that, no. Um, not a looks traditional at Tom threat. and he goes, um, sorry, janitor, but um, this room is clean. You can move on to the next one. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my character. I, I imagine miners, just everything hurts all the time. You're supposed to be I, coughing, <coughs> like in Zooland. I'm okay, not so. no janitor. I'm a miner. My name's Miner. <laughs> I was born to mine. Mr. Miner? Mr. Miner to you. Mr. Miner, the, the, the mining hall is uh, Tower <laughs> 7, Floor 8. That's great. No, but uh, he, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's part of the study group. Uh, he, he has a miner in... So his miner. major is, right. is a miner, but his miner <laughs> is in caravans my minor is in trying to learn how to major i'd like to join the army one day. i heard about this militia you, you had want, you want to join the growth militia uh, you, for your see, adopted town they sound like a bunch of softies to me uh, i wouldn't say that to their face they might feed you to the spiders i can't really say much to anyone's face you see how short i am uh, i heard drow women like to feed you to spiders <laughs> oh i think all drows like to feed somebody to spiders Wow. You know what I, 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 I take notes. Mrs. Crillington's going to think that's wild. It's kinky. Giraffe. Well, you are in luck. <laughs> you young three, well, the two young of you and this old miner who uh, <laughs> wants a new job as a, as a caravan specialist. Um, there is actually a meeting of the caravanists happening today. Really? Uh, yeah. Tower 7. Uh, hall five, room two. Uh, and, and these are uh, people looking for like uh, interns, or these are this is like the staff here. Yes, it's new. It's caravan leaders looking for new recruits. Great. What wait, what time? time? What wait? What time is it? Because there's this really <laughs> awesome band with a very charismatic lead singer goblin playing at Mrs. Spider's Web. I heard the goblin just plays the whistle, and in fact, the penguin is the singer. Yeah, well, it's a lot harder than it looks, okay. (laughs) I mean, he really carries the group. Anyways, we're not... Is it... What what time is this meeting? Because I really got to go catch that band tonight. Uh, It's happening now. No. I think we should go over there, huh? Yeah. Come on, you bunch of pink bellies. Let's go. Oh, I should make it more pink, huh? Okay. Uh, I take some pink paint out and make it more pink. And I make um, my way to the meeting. You are very nice, and I'm glad to help you, but please do not spill paint on my feet. Oh, don't worry. It won't get anywhere. Plus, you have uh, <laughs> you have janitorial staff, it sounds like. Yeah, he'll clean it. I, I <laughs> thought I did, but apparently he's a miner. A miner. It's totally different. And miners and miners and caravan <laughs> studies. I, yeah, absolutely no... Uh, Custodial You'll skills. You'll see the crossover between uh, mining and caravanning, but uh, well, sometimes well, we come to an impasse. Vertical and I have integration. To, <clears throat> I have to mine a piece out of the uh, rock. We can't really go over a mountain, so we have to go through it. This takes years, uh, but we get the job done. Proud of my work, Tom. You should stay like that because you can just get rocks from me all the time. <laughs> I like he doesn't have anything to say now. <laughs> like, Who's Tom? Mr. Tom leaves <laughs> oh, yeah. the party and <laughs> adventuring new career as a miner. <laughs> uh, you can catch my streaming show Wednesdays at 8. Tom the Miner. Okay, roll d20. 13. That's some okay mining, but you could do better. I'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> so should we go to a tower seven hall five room two <laughs> yeah uh which way is that <laughs> uh, you get confused as you run around through the campus because 
Although the towers are numbered, they don't seem to be placed in the order of the number. You know, they're not numbered how they're placed. So uh, you run around until you find the right tower. Uh, the floors are normal. You don't have to guess about that. And you find the room, and it is very busy. And you see different, different young students pitching themselves to different caravan captains. Hey, Tom, they look and, under 25. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, you know, a very, a very busy, very formal looking drow goes, you're here for the caravans. You're late. Get inside. Start pitching yourself now. Here oh. you go. The, the, no one's been talking to this guy. What? Is it, obvious, is it obvious why <laughs> nobody's talking to this guy? Is he, is he stinky? Um, <laughs> so before you, you see uh, ghost wise, halfling, his hair gray, his eyes white, and kind of skull painted on his face. He doesn't blink and he doesn't talk. Hey, look, guys, he likes paint too. Yeah, that guy's got paint too. <laughs> hey, you want? I have some more paint in different colors. And um, you hear a voice inside your head and goes, It is not that I like paint. It is paint as a tool that I use. Anybody else hear that? What? I, I heard you guys, there's a ghost here or something. I heard a voice in my head. It's not me. Is it a wise ghost? He said it's not paint. <laughs> and in your head again, you hear it is not a ghost. It is I, Lelander Craftby. Is he Caravan looking at me while he's doing this? Do we all hear this, or he's just kind of? Yeah. Well, he, you're all hearing it. He's looking at the. He's looking, kind of straight ahead at the three of you. It seems to be very stoic. What was his name again? Um, Lelander. He's one of these softies with two consonants for a first name. <laughs> Melander Craftbeak or something. Oh, Melander. Sorry. Lillander with an L. That was. Oh, you Lillander. were close. Lillander crap. Okay, I try to talk to him in his head, but it just sounds like this. Nothing. What'd you uh, say? I can't. What'd you say? Can I, can I say to him, wait, the Lillander Craftby legendary caravan master? No, you um, Make a charisma check. Or let's make a deception check. Can I help with that? It's a 14. Nope. Ah. This guy's famous. We had no idea. It says <laughs> I. The very same. Wow. Do you, you know, uh, it's always been a dream of ours to, to help protect one of your caravans. Are you, are you looking for, for help? Um, we... We in the Pale Shroud are always looking for more help. Pale Shroud? Wait, is that a, is that like a euphemism where you, you like want to kill people or anything? Because it sounds kind of ominous. Funny, you know my name, but you don't know the name of my ship. Oh, uh... Is that with the hard T? Uh, ship. Ship. Yeah, you oh. know, I think uh, your legend is just so large that uh, everything else falls by the wayside. Yeah, it's just uh, a boat. Deception check. <laughs> Can I uh, help with that? <laughs> that's a 13. A 13. Yeah, you know, he smells a little BS, but he knows you're trying to flatter him, so he, he takes it. Um, uh, so you, you do uh, have a departure scheduled soon? We do. Are you... Sure that you're up for it. We we make money by doing the quickest routes, the hardest routes, the routes that everyone else turns down. Quick oh, and hard. Why? Quick and why hard. Why do you go that way? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's faster. Hey. <laughs> yes, because it's faster, and because we're not weird. afraid of the dangers. Wait, is he saying this out loud? No, this is still in your head. His lips haven't moved. Are you sure we should travel with this guy? He's yeah. like talking without moving his lips. Yeah. It's kind of weird. That's Seems, what I'm talking about. And he's Seems so awesome. little. How is he so powerful, but so little? <laughs> Look at his fingernails. <laughs> no, he's also taller than Tom. 
<laughs> okay, good. I like him. Uh, look at those fingernails. That's a there's um, a fingernails. So uh, <laughs> I can't keep that up. I'm sorry. <laughs> that hurts. The task halfling. Uh, what I'm a, a worker. Uh, where where are you? Where's your next port of call? Where are you headed after Grouth? Are you going up to Aquanta by chance? Aquanta. Aquanta. We always end up in Aquanta eventually. Mm. All roads we lead to Aquanta. We have three destinations before that. Are they uh, on the surface in the Underdark? Let's say two on the Underdark and one in the surface. Where are you going? <clears throat> <laughs> Are they in our book by chance on this map? And we, I pull it out. And if Artorian's holding it, I grab it from him and show the guy. Were you just holding the map this whole time, Artorian? Just walking around. <laughs> and it's not, yeah. Is it on this map right here at all? <laughs> we'll do it. Ooh, wait, oh, on Mr. one Minor. condition. God. There's a fantastic band tonight. I cough, some black stuff comes out. Tonight at Mrs. Spider's Web is a fan. <laughs> the, the front man is a goblin. I would love to sign them to my label. Uh, very, very charismatic. Uh, please come see them tonight. I'll get you on the guest list. What's the name of your uh, label? Make a first way to <laughs> check with disadvantage. What's the name of the band? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's a seven. You're gonna love these kids. They're great. One's tall, two are short. Very charismatic. And, um, says in your mind, he says, "I will be unable. I will be. Uh, I will be occupied this evening." Huh? He's too good to see our show. What yeah, did you say? He likes. He likes things hard and fast. <laughs> you can't get into your tent. Is that what you said? Did you Did you wear earplugs during the uh, when they use the explosives? You know, it's all that, um, <laughs> that all that uh, axe picking, uh, mm -hmm. just over and over again. Mm -hmm. It eventually just cuts out those frequencies, uh, making what? Uh, so uh, when do you depart, uh, Mal Malice? Melander, Crackbeak. Melander. Mal Melander. <laughs> Tomorrow morn. Oh, perfect. Tomorrow. Morn. Now, are you Wait. like a morning means ten a.m. kind of guy? Or are we talking like crack of dawn? Yes, there, there is no sun here, but it's 6, six. a.m. A.m. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's great. Meridian. Yes, that makes sense down here, too. Okay, where on this map are you going? You still haven't showed us. <laughs> Dear sir, my routes are trade secrets. I will not draw the route for you on the map. But is this I will in my tell head? You... Or can you guys hear this, too? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'll be quiet. We can all hear it? Yeah. You can all hear it. Um, <laughs> we will be going to Bronheim, to Carsley, and to Featherfall. Oh, Featherfall. I like Carsley. Okay. Uh, which of those cities are on the surface? Or town? Um, he seems to be growing impatient. He goes, I'm not here oh. to teach geography lessons. Be that way, fine. I'll remember that. Very well. Uh, do we need to provide <laughs> uh, any equipment? Are you providing horses? Or are we on a boat of some sort? Um, you will not be required horses. Oh, okay. Good. I have ice cream. And I don't know if you tried this stuff called coffee, but we can get some for the morning. It's delicious. So do with ice cream. If you super glue it to your face, you look older. <laughs> you look like him. Yes, yeah. are, are you healthy enough? <laughs> I'm healthy enough to travel. Um, I sure am. We, we might hey, actually. You can, like, why don't you just pack up right now and leave? Because that job is mine. And I'm trying to make a plan where it's like, and I start miming 
mining. Uh, that job. Oh, God oh. damn. Uh, Oh, oh, oh I did it! Oh, did you guys hear me say the GD word? Oh, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> guys, uh, you, you didn't miss anything on that joke. <laughs> miming, mining. Uh, okay, it's unstable. It might happen. The miner might I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, your connection's not the only thing that's unstable. Uh, <laughs> make a performance roll. Uh, Tom? Yep. Okay. Tomas. Woo! Okay, um, it's low. 23. That's some good miming. Because that job is mine. Did anyone else, did you get, okay. Oh, I, uh, you find any good rocks yet, Tom? The, the best, the biggest. Where are they? I oh, made them in his pocket. Oh, <laughs> no, I think you're lying. <laughs> I got your nose too. Uh, don't worry, Lelanda. We we might leave Tom behind and bring his, his <laughs> son, Tom Jr. He looks very point. similar, but <laughs> a little more spry. A little healthier. A little healthier. Very well. Meet me. Meet me tomorrow at the Osprey docks. And the job is yours. Okay. Six AM. Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, what does it pay? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get back to the surface. Shh. Oh, this one works for rocks. Uh, you, you of course get passage, room and board. Ooh. And your share of the, you're all one share of the score. One we keep share. anything we kill. Room there. board and one share. Um, and he, he moves for the first time and he lifts up his hand. How, how many shares are there total? Is it like we get one out of a, a million or one out of like 20? <laughs> I'm just curious. He's or is so like smart. it's equally split? One out of so 100. Smart. Oh, okay. Good head on those shoulders. What are these shares doing? His hand is still. I'll shake his hand. I feel like he has one Does leg. He Does he have a wooden leg? Make I a do. Perception check. <laughs> this leg's wooden. Okay, it's a dirty 20. Yeah, he has a wooden leg. Uh, I Tom knew it. Deception check. Pegley. Um, With I'm disadvantage, because you clearly don't have a wooden leg. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not pointing at my. Uh, I'm not pointing at my walking legs. Still okay. Fifteen. 15. If you know what I mean. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> not the legs with feet on them. Eh. Okay, mining, get... mining. <laughs> I'll go back to. They better get ready for our show. Okay. I don't know what time it is, but. <laughs> Tom, we have to be nice to him because we get back to the surface. I can Mrs. Crillington again one day. Okay. All right. We're going to do this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for taking a chance on us, Lelander. We might not be the, the brightest or the strongest, but uh, we'll see you. We'll see you through. I know you say, Arturo, look at how bright I me. am. Billy's so bright. <clears throat> okay. Bye, Lander. See you in the morning. Uh, send something on my sending stone if you need us to pick anything up uh, for the trip. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And he um, very quickly exchanges sending stone numbers with Mr. Crump. Okay. As I leave, I just really loudly, like, oh, I can't wait to see that really awesome band tonight at Mrs. Spider's Web. Good kids, very charismatic. Yeah, can we spend a few minutes circulating and like asking when, when the caravans are leaving? Be like, oh, that's good. So you can you can go to the show tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay, He's so let's smart. make a um, group persuasion check. Everybody, roll Sweet. persuasion as you hand out flyers. Oh. Who wants guidance? Jeez, it won't I think help. I need it. <clears throat> Twenty-two. Three minus two is one. Twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got two successes and one kind of. I success. got paint all over my stuff. I was handing out. It just hasn't dried yet. <laughs> People are trying to read it. That pink paint. All right, are you guys ready to head back to yes. Mrs. Spider's web? Yes. Yeah, I Absolutely. touch up my paint along the way. Okay. When we get there, uh, can we ask Ballantine about? Lalander. That's a good um, idea. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm going to say she is calm in her stats, so let's see if she knows anything about him. He, does he ever stay here? Does he tip well? You know, those convoy kids, they're always going and leaving. I don't really pay attention to that type, you know? Fair enough. It's a, Fair it's enough. a, it's a college town. Like, you got to be here, you know, five, six years for me to remember your face. You okay. remember he does. What's uh, your name again? It's this bright belly, uh, Mr. Curlington. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys are the band. Are you guys? I'm wondering where you guys. Are you guys gonna be ready to set up in an hour? Oh, yep. Yeah. You sure are. Yeah. Is our writer? Uh, is our writer? Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, it's me. Hi. Is our writer contract uh, filled out? Did you get all of our? Uh, what do you call them? Demands? Contract? Um, you didn't leave that with me. But what was on there? Um. You wrote, what, your illusory script? I couldn't read oh, that. Oh, no, it was, okay. Uh, <laughs> like... We just wanted to, can I, I mean, maybe after the show, could I have some water? I think that's... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You okay, water now great, great. Yeah, well, we've been uh, promoting all day. We're hoping to get a lot of butts in these seats. I don't really see many butts in the, where butts go. The butt place. Mm -hmm. We've got stools, we've got seats. I mean, okay. you know, usually people stand and watch. Um, cool. Well, we're good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we'll put the sparklers over here. And then I may get out that cool keyboard thing I made mm -hmm. and find like some sticks to put it on a stand so I can stand mm -hmm. there and press button things. So A, B, C, D. Here we go. Yeah. And if you guys want, I can paint like a mural behind us of like something cool, like ice cream or Zazla and Belinda and Mrs. Curlington. <laughs> Or water, like the ocean, since that guy likes to serve. Yeah. But you know you do it with mine. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do Snowflake Island. That all sounds okay. good. Uh, <laughs> you guys <laughs> fine, okay, I paint Snowflake Island since nobody wanted to this is what my hometown looks like. Here's the water, and then this is Mrs. Curlington. This is the cave and the rock. Okay, like, I roll, keep going roll, on and on. And on. Ooh, what is that? 17 plus what? Uh, proficiency. Okay, 20. 30, 20. 20. You do an amazing painting of... Uh, oh, 19, sorry. 19. Well, it's still a pretty good painting of uh, your island. Your snow-covered island. This is what it looks like, you guys. Yeah, it's like, see? you know, it's sort of, it's, because it's so much white and there's so much negative space, there's sort of this, you know, <laughs> abstractness to it. There's kind of a glow of the light off the snow. It's, uh, it's quite breathtaking. Except I added some blue because the world's melting, so this whole half's all water. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's my island, guys. Is Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Curlington really built like that, or did you exaggerate her attributes? Oh, I like a large stomach, so I made that bigger. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Valentine. I'm really losing track of reality. Uh, is there a is there a trap door in the stage? No. <laughs> Can I make one? <laughs> um. I believe we have mending. Do we have mending? Can uh, we... Yeah, if Some, you break someone it, you has buy mending. It. I can how figure much, it out. How much yeah. is your stage? I mean, it's really an enhancement. It's really an an enhancement uh, <laughs> to think about it. Well, if I don't like it, you're paying for the repairs. Deal. If I have an hour, I can make woodworkers' tools again. We can do that. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not like we aren't going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's fair. I'll, how about I give you? Um, how about I give you this gold piece as a deposit? Okay. As a sign of my goodwill. I take out my alchemy jug of 12 gallons of salt water. And I'm assuming, are we doing blood, you guys? You want red paint in there? Uh, no. Yeah. I wanna, uh, <laughs> okay. What I want to do is I want to like fly out of the floor. I want to fly out of the floor like some possessed, possessed demon. Musician. And when he does that, I'll make the, the water fly everywhere. Like, you're going to and, and I'll add, add balls. I'll add lots of balls. 
around the balls. You yeah. cannot okay. forget the balls. They we are, are we are ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some rock Hector, and music. Can you make this a uh, salt water smell like plankton? Yes. Thanks. Okay, so you guys get ready. Um, Goron stands up on his bar stool. Looks like it's about to give out any moment, and he says, "Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from River Glen Falls." And before make I it guys... big. Make it big for the lone thief. Woo! And I look put up. my flippers together. It's kind of a, a small crowd of <laughs> bar flies and regulars. Okay. Music, yeah. uh, are you coming out of the trap door? So I'm minor going? illusioning above the stage. I'm under the stage right now, and I'm minor illusioning a curtain. And then as he introduces okay. us. How, how did you make a trap door? That was never, <laughs> you never said how you were going to do that. So, did you minor Ke illusion one, maybe? Kevin, <laughs> it's just a hole in the. It's just a hole. <laughs> so with like, a sword. I made a hole. He got his mining so axe. Just roll a d20. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Would it, would it help to booming blade it? <laughs> I just, just, yeah. Just so two. you just basically stabbed <laughs> the floor until there was about a small hole, about like a foot and a half deep. Well, right, less right. than that. About about eight inches deep. <laughs> So it's like your knees. <laughs> and I don't know, you can kind of crouch down. But yeah. you're, you're clearly there and you've yeah. just sort of just. <laughs> so it's like kind of hard to get out. Um, but I drank that potion. Um, oh, God. Arturian and Mr. Pillington, you guys both have D6 Bardic Inspirations. And I'm going to fly out of the floor and just. Are you ready? Did and I make it rain? That and you, saw you have water guidance. On oh, sweet. <laughs> and I splashed that. On everybody. Yeah. Are you ready to rock? Um, we are the lone thief. Woo! Yeah, oh. we're cheering for ourselves. <laughs> How's the audience reacting uh, so audience? far? Do they like the All blood right. water? And are you ready to ready to play? Um, yeah. yeah. Can I find some better music? <laughs> yeah, roll a sweet charisma check for me. Oh. Okay. okay. Get that beat going. Boom. 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 Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Um. Splish, splish, I was taking the bait. <laughs> oh, crit. <laughs> I got a crit. Nice. Yeah, so you are you're hitting your balls, you're hitting your beat, and you have the strong drum line going, setting it up. 14. Uh, 14, you're doing, your, you're, you're playing your little piano rocks. Splish, splish. And you're singing. Splish, and, splish, uh, I was taking the bait. <laughs> Tom, what did you roll? <laughs> Tom Hansen has his, uh, in one, like, if you've ever seen the band Morphine, one side of his mouth, he has that unis, unitone whistle. The other half is his saxophone. So he's, uh, 18, charisma check. Just straight okay, Did you want performance? Kind of saxophone, drum core thing. Did you want uh, performance or just charisma check? Just charisma's fine. Okay, baby. Uh, yeah. And as you play, um, Casey, can you roll a percentile for me? Sure thing. I'm, I'm pressing That's the O key. 17. You see, 17 college co eds enter Mrs. Spider's web. Ooh, Ooh I throw out the water. They're just blood. on time. Oh. They throw out the water blood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blood, a wet, a blood t shirt contest. <laughs> oh, <sort>. gross. <laughs> Sorry, just imagine that image. <laughs> you play it's Water Blood. Um, <laughs> Tom, why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about the song you're playing? This song is called Melancholy Baby. It's about a baby <laughs> who suffers from depression. And bath. Because <laughs> he don't want a bath. I'm flying over the crowd. Uh, uh, roll Charisma Check with advantage. Miss Bash, he was taking the bath. Oh, that's a nat 20. Nat 20. The crowd is going crazy. The baby took Everything. you. Everything. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. The baby couldn't get out of his crib all day because he was sad. So you're, you, you're playing the whistle, saxophone, and you're singing? I'm just checking. Yeah, he's, okay. he's trying. Great. 
well, I'm, I'm confused. Mr. Curlington and Officer Tom switching back and forth on vocals. I thought I was singing, but it's cool. I'll just play my piano. And I'm just pressing O, 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 the O key. You guys, this is why we should have rehearsed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The baby needed to go. <laughs> it's antidepressants. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty <laughs> wild, pretty chaotic. I'd like to um, cast mirror crowd. image also. <laughs> so there's four of me. The crowd is going, <laughs> going for it. I throw some of my and blood water on all of the Arcturians. That the music out. is really loud. <laughs> I need everybody to make a perception check with disadvantage. I'd like to cast shield so the water doesn't get on me. Oh, <laughs> uh, disadvantage? Uh, yeah. Four. Okay, three. Uh, nine. <laughs> uh, okay. And then what's going on with the socks? You've got shield. You've got shield on. The water's dripping off of you. There, there's uh, four Arcturians, uh, you know, very blue man group with the balls going. They're actually the ca drums. they're casting Booming Blade on each other's shields. It's pretty cool. This next song from my homeland. Mary had a melancholy baby, <laughs> and I start singing that. <laughs> Make a performance check, Mr. Cl or charisma check, Mr. Cullington. Charisma. Tom, I think it's time to pull Izzy up on stage. Six. <laughs> Six. Uh, the crowd is like less into this song. And can I yell out, it's educational. <laughs> it's extra credit. Yeah, it's educational. And there is a smash. The front windows of the bar are ripped open. Whoa. Well, they got way too excited, you guys. Uh, oh, I hold down you the O key. <laughs> two large devils, chains coming off of their faces. I and think one of them enough. yells. Do any of you speak infernal? Uh, hold on. I say there's a cover charge. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you hear them yell in a language that you do not know, can't decipher. Uh, uh, what, was there say? a bouncer outside this pub? No. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> um, uh, and you see one of them raises a glaive and points it at Arcturian. I turn around and look behind me. Is, and it, is there anything behind me? We will be rolling for initiative. I have a question. Which Arcturian did he week? look at? Because there oh, are like yeah. five of There's him. There's four. Did he get the right one? Ooh. Oh. I mean, you're they welcome. all, they all you're look behind. They all look behind. <laughs> you rolled a 17. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I think he has to roll low to get me, right? Uh, you know, well, I don't remember the rules. He's pointing me. very close towards you because right, I don't right. think there's anyone else within pointing range of okay i make it rain water blood on them too i'm just gonna yell out hey valentine it looks like they put a hole in your bar oh. and the floor <laughs> yeah they see? they really I damaged the floor they, <laughs> wow look at that hole in the floor oh my <laughs> uh, uh yeah that's not me exception of disadvantage all right <laughs> hell yeah and that one uh and that seven. one all right valentine's hey. kind of Valentine is like very concerned, but also just kind of angry. Can you um, believe all right. this? And we'll pick Two up devils. next week. Scary. Sounds we'll good. Rolling. This rolling our initiatives. This concert Fights just got devils. awesome. Wow. We will roll initiative next week. It crashed the show literally. Yeah. I mean, if you really want to. It's <laughs> so, so funny. <laughs> um, hey everybody! Thanks for watching. Yeah. Hey. Hey Casey, yeah. how is Sirenscape skipping? Like uh, our Wi-Fi. Is that what a bad oh. performance check does? Oh, yeah. that's pretty it cool. It rolled actually. a one. Yeah, huh. a true one. I uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, please follow for us and you know uh, subscribe. If you're on Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription. So you know subscribe. And you all have to uh, see the advertising. <laughs> for yeah, people. yeah, it's pretty nice uh, not seeing the advertising. <laughs> We're on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram and, and all, all of our, our fun favorite stuff. Um, Mosh Pit. 
<laughs> Sorry, stress and Oh, so much, you know, so much happening in the world, and it, it means a lot for us to, to share this with you guys. Um, you know, thank, thank you for watching, and, uh, you know, please support good causes, and uh, Black Lives Matter. Thank they you, guys. Do. Have a good All day. lives matter. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, yes. No, Even these no, devils no, we're going to kill right. next week, they matter. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Sirenscape. Uh, thank you, the disagree. Gamescape. Do not <laughs> yeah, we better uh, <laughs> go now. Yeah, bye. 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 Bye.